I hope you enjoyed the Khan Academy lecture on descriptive statistics. Let's review what we saw in that lecture about central tendency and dispersion. First of all, recall that descriptive statistics is a method for describing large sets of numbers. It gives us an easy way to communicate information about a large set of numbers, as well as understand new things about that set of numbers. The first group of descriptive statistics we're going to investigate are measures of central tendency, also known as averages. And these are numbers that represent the center of a distribution of numbers, or in some other way, a typical value from that distribution of numbers. We have three measures of central tendency, mode, median, and mean. The mode is a very straightforward uh, measure of central tendency. It is simply the value that occurs most frequently in our distribution. So if we have a frequency distribution drawn out as a histogram, then the mode is going to occur at the peak of the histogram. All we do in this case is to compute the mode is count the frequency of each value in the data table and find the value with the greatest frequency. There might be cases where, f where data values are tied, in which case you have bimodal or multimodal distributions. And the mode in that case is reported as each of the individual tied modes in the data set. The median is simply the middle value in the distribution when you order your values from high to low. So technically, if you have n values, n observations in your sample, then the middle value will be the n plus 1 over 2 value. So if you've got, if you've got 7 observations in your data set, then the middle value we know is going to be the fourth value. But if you're unsure, you can apply the formula 7 plus 1 over 2 equals 4. And, that, and there, that can help you find out which value in your sorted list is going to be the median. In the case when you have an even number of observations, well, then what you're going to do is find the two middle values and take the average of the two of them together. So in this example, if n equals 8, according to our formula, we would be looking for the um, 4.5 as the middle value, because you'll just have 9 over 2. So in that case, you want to take the average of the fourth and fifth value. Take the average of the fourth and fifth, the two things that straddle 4.5. In this example down below, we have 11 observations drawn out in a uh, some kind of histogram where we've got the data values across the bottom. Say these are this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So those are our data values. And the height here is the frequency. So we've, each box is, is a count of one observation. So we've got two zeros in our data set, two ones, a two, a three, and so on. Now the median value, since there are 11 observations, we have to find the sixth value. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the median in this case will be three. The mode is the most frequently occurring value. We have three fives in this data set. No other data value has three observations. So the mode is equal to five.